Hey guys, we're gonna do three judo throws that you should always learn first for BJJ. If you stick to right to the very end, we're gonna give you a bonus fourth one that's a little bit more cool. Okay, it's like an extra bonus. All right, so I'm here with my cousin. Thank you for being here. You guys already pull guard. And a lot of jiu-jitsu guys pull guard in this fashion where they lift, post their foot on the hip, sit down this way, and then they enter into the open guard position, whether it's a de la Hiva or a posting or a tripod. So you guys already do this very well. So make some slight modifications so you can immediately do tomonage. That is a throwing tomonage. The difference now, instead of posting on the foot extended, and then sitting down, we're gonna make the same movement, but we're gonna spring our leg back. Okay, we're gonna spring our leg back, pull, and load him onto the bottom of our foot. So now the order of operation is a little bit different. Hand motion, I'm gonna pull him forward, load my leg, sit under, and kick him right over the back. And now you end up in this nice side control or mount the position where you could immediately go into juji and such. So slightly different thing, but it's a nice, easy tomodage. Very easy to learn. Second technique you should learn, kochigari works really well with the same exact type of guard pull. I'm gonna fake the tomonage and the foot comes forward and that's when I'm gonna go across and then block the foot with my foot and then attack coach you guys. Sometimes the leg's too far to actually sweep the leg. In this case, I may fake coachy and then I might pick this leg and then go right into my path. So those are some options for you. You could also use this coachy from this sort of cross sleeve cross collar position where I take a back step, angle off, open, Pick this leg. That's one way to do it. You could also time it by bringing the leg forward here and then taking him right down as he steps forward. If Eugene decides to pull guard on me here, I could also time it, coachy, and go right into this knee cut situation here. Now, we have an opponent that has the sips very, very far back. Like really his far back in this case. Now, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because I'm a little bit farther away from the Tomonage. Coachy's too far. I'm gonna opt to do a drop Sanagi. Traditionally in judo, you're gonna come forward, turn and drop Sanagi where you're facing in the same direction. But now, in this case, we're gonna modify this and do a quarter turn. The reason being, this won't work on a guy that's standing upright, but because this posture is so bent, we're just gonna turn so we're 90 degrees perpendicular to him and sit here and take him right down into side control position. It's gonna be a modified quarter turn, drop set nice. All right, the moment you've been all waiting for, sort of a thing that ties us all together, it's a little bonus move. I take the hand off, cross collar. Take Tomonage, Kochi, here it is. Reverse collar. Very easy, not that easy actually, but we need the sleeve control, cross collar. I'm gonna move, angles underneath, and I'm gonna duck my head under his armpit and sit perpendicular to him and then take him over this direction. This is a great one because it also works well with the quarter drop Sanagi, right? Quarter drop Sanagi doesn't work. Kochi, fake guard pull. There is my drop Karaguma from the reverse side. You guys already know a lot of these movements. Yes, this is a lot better than bowing and saying, okay, I'm gonna learn a Harai Gochi. And although this Harai is very, very powerful, it takes years to learn this technique, right? To really master it, yeah. develop power. Now, if you miss it, you give up your back. Oh shoot, oh, man. High risk, high reward. The reward being, you get to post it on Instagram and show all your friends, tons of likes. All right, but the risk is very That's high. That's important. That's all that matters yeah. in Jiu-Jitsu. Right, so I hope you guys liked it. Thank you. Peace. Peace.